Well, my dear. What? So, this is how we make chili these days. That's right, we got it with our cats. <laughs> help me torch, help me. Hello. I'm drawing, I, I don't know her. I have a problem. She claims she doesn't know you. I don't know her. We run out of chili. Aha. Uh -huh. My and daughter eats chili. That one lives on chili. And just chili. Hey. Right. Oh, I, I got uh, You're not getting it done, woman. <laughs> I think I have black beans, pinto beans, red beans cooked already. I have to, it depends if I have everything. But a friend of mine wants to know how to make that chili because he really likes it. And he wants his wife to learn how to make it. <laughs> So, Good luck. <laughs> I will gather up the strength, get up, and get it going. And I'll show you guys. See if you like it. Welcome to the Brandon's Gourmet Kitchen. <laughs> this is pretty much what it looks like. Most mm. of the time. <laughs> Most of the time. I ain't gonna lie. It's not pretty. Step one into making chili. Move the mess aside. Clean up the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're... Uh, if you're uh, Savvy chef of your home cooking kitchen thing, you know that what do we do in the kitchen? We multitask. So you know, I always wondered because I, I watch those cooking videos, right? Uh -huh. You ever notice how neat their stuff is and how clean? I'll bet you there's a pile of crap three feet tall behind <laughs> <I> them. <laughs> this is real life, yo. Yes. Okay, so. While I'm cleaning, like, I'm gonna start. Okay, so. <laughs> this is beans. Beans! I, I, got, I used three types of beans, four types of beans. That boy busted beans. this. Uh, he shattered it. I used pinto beans, mm -hmm. red kidney beans. It ain't toilet paper, I promise. <laughs> Black beans. Okay. Right here. That, oh, yeah. I cook them all on my Instapot and then I freeze them. That way I can have them. I'll probably, what I do is I, well, I'll put them in the microwave to thumb up. You don't have to do this. You can buy canned beans. Yes. I used to make them with canned beans. Now with canned, if I do canned beans, what I do is drain them into a colander and let the, and preserve the juice that comes out of the beans. Yeah. The cans. And then add it depending on how much, how juicy I want to Sometimes she freezes it in a glass jar and they bust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. While I'm cleaning my kitchen and working on microwaving the stuff so it thaws out, I will brown the meat. And I buy, don't buy the lean stuff because then you, you know, the, fat, the stuff that has fat in it, you want at least 80%. Cause you want some of that fat and some of the flavors and all of that so i will put this right now to brown and while i do that i will clean up my kitchen and start throwing this out in the microwave and then i'll show you what else goes into the chili but first ground beef beans beans got it okay all right so i got some of the mess cleaned down I'm looking up my beans. Oh, Kofifi. I got, uh, if you want to look, I got the, the meat. It's about two and a half pounds here. Uh, but I make a batch, uh, this is the double batch. When I only make a single batch, it's just one pound of brown beef. And look, even though it's like 80, Mm -hmm. 20 is still not very greasy, so I might yeah. have to add some. Anyway, that's yeah. browning. I want it nice and brown and delicious. Okay. This is double batch. Keep that in mind. So I need, I have six bell peppers. I'm going to put some celery, a nice big onion, uh, two, three of those rotel, the big rotel, uh, Chili, uh, what is it? Diced tomatoes and green chilies. Mm -hmm. Two cans of tomato paste. And then my last jar of homemade, homemade uh, crushed tomatoes. Right. You could just do all this. 
You could do crushed tomatoes, you can do any flavor you want, but I like it because this is just a little spicy. Gives us a little extra kick and a little extra flavor. So I'm gonna get to dicing everything, and when I'm done dicing, I'll bring you back and I'll show you everything diced. Just wait. Okay, there. <laughs> I don't know. I assume you already know. I assume. He's shaking a knife at him for. I assume you already know how to cut a bell pepper. But just in case you don't, the easiest way to do is. So, because you don't want the seeds and you don't want this nubby thing. So, you want to go there. Once you pop the first part, you go around. And you got just the seeds and you got nothing in here and then uh, you can go it this way if you have a really sharp knife it'll do it and then you got slices and then dices dices and that's it that's it and of course i opened the cans you have all my cans <laughs> and now i'm uh <clears throat> Mm. This one just came out. It's just uh, now I'm just starting to microwave these things to get them all. They a little bit have, warm. Yeah, just a little bit. They don't have to be fully thawed out because they will finish thawing out once I put them in the in the chili. And honestly, if I can remember who I stole this recipe from, I will tell you. Mm. But I can't remember where I got it from. Anyway. You know, it's. It, like with recipes, it was like I remember some kind of a big scandal. These ladies was accusing some other lady of stealing a recipe. And it's like, recipes are like, good Lord, you've been doing them for so long. Who knows who you got it from? You know that girl that they called back in the day, uh, the... 30 then, minute chef or something? No. But then, no, the one that we thought was an uppity rich lady. Oh, and that blonde haired chick. Yeah, what well, is it? A Bisquick semi queen. Semi homemade. Yeah, semi homemade, yes. Yeah, that was the name of her, of her show. Anyways, she got accused of stealing a recipe. And uh, to Rachel Ray's credit, which I, I think they say that she's a very mean mean woman now. I don't I know. I know. Anyways. I find she, most women to be. Uh, a little bit uptight these days. That's true. Yeah. Not me. I'm, I'm easy going. Not her, but most women. Anyway, Miss Rachel Ray came to her defense because people said that she had stolen some recipes from who knows what. And she was like, look, all my recipes are stolen from Grandma and Auntie and my cousin oh, and yeah. everything else. I mean, like, chili, chili. And it's, it's, if you make it your own. You know, you put your own recipe and you put all your own touches for your family. Your family. Yes. I'm trying not to. <laughs> well, you're pointing a knife at them. Or are you pointing a knife at me? No. Oh, she's pointing a knife at me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to dice everything and then I'll bring you for the next step. Ah, uh, they're so colorful. And they know that's why I do it. I know, right? Not that it makes any difference. They all taste the same. Yeah, I think okay. Right. All right. Okay. okay, there you go. Wait a minute. Just in case y'all have never seen a 12-year-old girl do any work, there it is, proof positive. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. While you're, uh, Did you see the look she gave no, me? No, I didn't. Oh. Don't be sassy, girl. Uh, okay, so uh, let me show you real quick before uh, before I show you what I'm doing. We missed the celery slicing. So I sliced celery. I'm getting ready to slice onions. Come here. So I uh, I have removed the meat from the pan and see all that deliciousness, delicious. You, deliciousness. You, you want to leave it there. So how did you sound like something rather delicious? Oh, I don't know. Magically delicious. Oh, magically delicious. Where'd that come from? Uh, cereal. Lucky cereal. charms. Oh, lucky charms. Magically okay. delicious. Yes. yes. Uh huh. Okay. So I am going to add olive oil but this is like other kind of oil of oil in this jar so don't trust the it's not an extra virgin unfiltered olive oil is like a bargain little, basement olive oil. Basement olive oil so i'm gonna give it a really good glug come look come look so because it's a lot okay yeah. it's gonna be you'll see it the whole thing it'll be full by the time i'm done yeah so i'm gonna warm it up Nice while I chop up the onion, then throw all the vegetables in it at once. Okay, mm -hmm. then gonna be, and then I'm just gonna let them 
sweat and kind of cook down a little bit. And then I'll bring you for the uh-huh. next one. Well, while she cooks, she listened to her Bible stuff here. That guy's actually pretty good. He's very smart. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Bible thinker. That is his website. Uh-huh. But anyways, do you know how to cut an onion? You know how to cut an onion. Do you want me to show you how to cut an onion? Sure. Let's see how to cut an onion. Well, you remove the outer skin. She removed the outer skin. Then you cut in half. Then you put your hand here. Watch me cut myself. That, she does this once a week. Then uh, you slice it this way. Ow! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, snap. And then you Uh, cut this way. Almost perfect dyes, I think. But I'm sure you already know how to do this. Everybody knows, except for me, how to cut an onion. <laughs> so, okay. That's it. I'll bring you back later. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so if you do me here, I'll show you. Yeah. See how Ooh, they start? Yeah. Kind of cook down. The juices are running out. And just kind of, I added a little bit more oil because I wasn't getting uh, them to sweat good enough. So. It's good right there, okay? You can cook them down a little more. They're still gonna cook down more. They're not even, we're not halfway through the recipe, okay? So at this point, we're gonna add our spices. Aha. Uh-huh. So, one basic one I use is this one, chili powder. Chili powder! You can use any flavor. You know, they have like uh, Mexican style powders and, you know, chili powders and things like that. Okay. Hi, you, there's a, here's a secret. My family did not like chili powder. So how do you do it? I started by literally putting this much into it. Less than that, the big batch of, even less, a uh, big batch of chili, okay? Now that they uh, are used to it, then I look at it and I'm like, no, I need more. So two of those. About two spoonfuls, two tablespoons. Just a little bit. but. but the, the point I'm trying to make is depending on, on, uh, on your family. They don't to like taste it. is what them their to females taste, call that's it. What they call it. Right. Okay, so I didn't put uh, garlic in here. So I'm going to put just good old granulated garlic. And uh, I'll go like this. And I'm like, up, oh, need some more. So i put another one. So I'd say that was a full heaping tablespoon of it. Okay. So that's what and I doing. learned something. Let me see this. All the years, I thought the big spoon was a tablespoon. It's not. They actually make. Okay. The other thing I put in there is cumin. Yeah. Now this is something that I, and they're still, they're still working on it. Something her husband doesn't like. He doesn't taste it in it. He doesn't even didn't even know I was saying it. Good the thing corner. he's not home, right? We're up to this <laughs> much. Yeah, that's right. He will never know. Oops. Okay. So a little bit of cumin. Um. And so what I do at this point, I mix it up, and you kind of let the spices cook down, cook down a little bit, brown the toast a little bit with the oil and the spices, so you can get the good aroma. Oh, smells good. Smells good already, huh? Yeah. So I'm going to let it cook, uh, cook a little bit, and then the next thing that goes in is our tomato paste the two cans which i also opened he very kindly opened for me (laughs) so man's work is never done that's right so that's good enough right there the whole thing goes in both of them okay it goes in like this I don't know. I think this is what gives it the super delicious tomato. Tomato-y lady. taste. Um, oh, umami. Isn't that a thing? Who? Umami. Who's a mommy? Your mommy. Huh? My mama's dead. She is? Yeah. Anyway. She says it's an umami. It's an umami flavor. Okay. So umami you're... flavored. So. Oh, it's a made up flavor. Yeah. Ooh. So we're going to mix it around real good. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Real nice. Get this 
Well, just remember, I pulled the meat out. The meat is not in here. Yeah, meat ain't in there, she said. So now I just want to kind of brown the tomato paste a little bit. Mm. And give it about two minutes. Maybe a little less. Oh. Ah! You guys make a mess in your kitchen when you cook. She I do. does. <laughs> I do. Okay, so see that? It's becoming like this big. Oh, now nice. that that's in there. So the next thing it goes in. Now, you gauge it, okay? I have this amount because I that's how I make it. But sometimes I'll get to it and be like, um, I think you need a little more of this, a little more of that, and I'll add more tomato <coughs> or whatever. It's in our defense. This stuff, we don't eat this all in one thing. She freezes. No, no, no. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is freezes. A huge, huge batch. Yeah. This is, uh, so whenever someone's hungry, they just, you know, yeah, heat she, themselves up some chili. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so at this point, it's cooking down. See that? You're getting a little bit of, see that? Browning on the yeah. very bottom. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah, see that? So that's good. That's a good sign right there. Then I put this in. One, two, and the third. And then I'm looking at it, and then I'm gonna put my my tomato sauce that I can't, or tomato, crushed tomatoes, are they? Smells like tomatoes. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. We grew those ourselves. Yes, we did. And uh, see, yeah, now you got a big chili bed. Yeah. Right? Like, really, you could use this for, uh, it's good enough to eat like it is. I know, like Throw the meat in there. Just <laughs> the meat in there and be done with it, right? If you don't like the beans, I guess. But, uh, so, I'm gonna put that in there. Then I'm gonna add two things of water. Okay, so let me pull this out so I don't burn myself. Let's get some water. Da, 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 da. What's that cat doing over there? He thinks he's getting num nums. Special num nums just for him. Hmm. I might find him something in the refrigerator later. Maybe. Anyways, here's one. Now look at it. Yeah, see how thick it is. Because I'm going to let it cook down for a few minutes after this. So I'm going to put another thing of, of water. Do I need to film that? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, because I got okay. one more step I want to show you. All right. Before we're done. Mm. Mm -hmm. You must have coffee along with it, huh? Mm. Okay, two cans of this. Two, I mean, two jars of water. Three cans. Okay, so now, this is right here pretty good. Now, right this, at this point, you're going to put the meat back in it. Meat back in it. Okay, and you just- 37 gonna... pounds of tri-tip, wasn't it? Yeah, what's uh, the price difference? Yeah, like two and a half pounds of hamburger. This was two and a half pounds of hamburger. I'm gonna bring it up to a, boil, a really good roaring boil, and then I'll start adding beans, and uh, the last touch that I have for Yeah, it. really? You people priced uh, the price of meat lately? Yeah, Holy yeah. cow, I swear I saw a finance booth at, at Costco, <laughs> or Sam's Club, Sam's yeah. Sam's Club, yeah. <coughs> okay, that's it for now. I'm gonna let it boil. I don't know, 10 minutes, but I'll show you what it looks like when we come back after it boils a little bit. And what's the next step? Oh yeah. All right. Okay, got it. Okay, so I think it's been more like 20 minutes. Nah. No? I don't think Anyways, so. Anyways, ah, I don't anyway. keep track of time, so that's why I give you uh, what it's supposed to look like. Ah. Okay, at this point it's going into a Could nice, have been 20 minutes. Big, don't thick, think so. roaring boil. And I want you to look at the, before you add anything else to it. Mm. Okay? Boy, yeah. if we had smell-o-vision. I know, right? Look at the sauce, okay? Uh, let me just pull a little bit. 
Okay, that's what it's supposed to look like. It's gonna be Ooh. a little thick. You know, it's uh, red. You can see the little bits and pieces of meat in it. That's what you're looking for before you start adding beans to it, okay? Yeah. So this is where what I am. What she said. Okay, now we add beans. Mm. Okay, I got, now watch. These are not thawed out all the way. So I'm gonna add, these are pinto beans. Maybe this that'll is, keep some of the smoke down. I uh, know, this is, what does it say here? This is like. Bowl? No, silly boy. <laughs> Wait, is this pan? Yourself? It tells me how many cups is in oh. here. I don't remember. Anyways, if you guys know, wait, I got it. I'll guess two. There's about two, three cups in uh. it. Anyway, so I'm putting that in. I'm gonna mix it around. And at this point, like, look, if this is what you want and you don't like beans that much or whatever, you could literally put just a little bit of beans and be good and be done. That, that that right there would be a nice little sauce. But I'm gonna put, this is what? I don't know, you've seen them at the grocery store, the Ziploc thingies. So I'm gonna put another one of these. This one is not thought out all the way either. So I'll put this one in here. So I got two of those. See, it doesn't look like it, but most of these components is homemade, you know? Yeah, like exactly. them beans. Them beans just, they come in a sack that look like this. Yeah, they, uh, uh, yeah. That what them things come in. Yeah, at this point, for our family and for my daughter, this is not beany enough. No, no. So we gotta put red beans. Mmm. Okay, you've seen the little containers, at the Ziploc containers, so you get an idea more or less how many cups are in here. So I put that in here. Let me see. Mm. I mix that in there. And then I have black beans. Black beans. There's a lot here. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Here's what I do all the time. I'm never sure if I'm going to put all of them and then that this happens. Yeah, and she always does it anyway. <laughs> that does happen. So we got those. Let's mix it up. See how much is grown. Uh, yeah. And they were not thawed out, like I got a big chunk of, of uh, right here. So I'm gonna wait and see. I think we Ooh. need the other beans. Yeah, yeah, put some of them white beans in there. All right, so now this is a little different. I try to drain on this guy some of the liquid. If you oh, wait. See that. Ah! There. Like this. Don't waste the beans. I don't know. So, that was boring. That was boring. That was very boring. Yep. Mm -hmm. So there's one can. Eh. I think we need another one. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I opened three of them. We'll put three of them. So you can pause the video for a minute while I Oh, get I can it. pause it. Okay. Second can. She said we're boring. No, you said it was. No, boring. you said you were boring. You said it was boring. I did were not. Bored. Kind of oh like my paint gosh. drying. This is why I don't cook. Yep, that's why. <laughs> and I'm not very good at it either, okay? Uh, see how thick this is right uh, now? Ah, chihuahua. Okay, I'm gonna, and I can still feel as I'm staring, steering, staring? Stirring. <laughs> stirring. 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 That word. I can feel there's a little clump of beans in there somewhere. Uh, see it now. Won't be for long. Yeah, I wanna show you now what it looks like, what, what a spoonful of it would look like. Yeah, mm, all kinds of delicious beans. Uh, yeah. So I would probably at this point let it boil one a little more, and add uh, maybe add a little bit of water depending on how thick it is. It needs to come up the oil. But before we do that, I'm going to show you the last two things are going there. I don't know if you noticed we hadn't put any salt in it yet. So salt's like the last tag. Yeah, because. Uh, Sometimes when I make my beans, I will put salt in the beans, but sometimes I won't. So who knows? All right, so it's one, two, three, this is four. Didn't I buy beef stuff? Yeah, but you don't do beef on this stuff. And uh, 
And then you throw a good healthy shake of pepper. I don't know how much this is. What do you think it was? Like a half a teaspoon? Sure. Why not? Sure, sure. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. All right, so mix it up real good. Let the big chunk of beans that I got in here somewhere still. That's it. Okay, that big hunk of beans. And I might add some water. I don't know. I'll bring you back for the very last step. But at this point, it needs to boil for a little bit. That's it for now. Bye. Okay. All right. What we got? This is it. I put about half of this. See, it was full to the top. I added a little bit. When you're stirring it, you need to scrape the bottom. Make sure you get everything out of it. But let me stay right there. Let me walk and get a clean spoon so we can give it a quick tasty taste. All right, so. Is that a clean spoon or did you wipe it on your dress? I wiped it on my dress. <laughs> it's hot, dummy. Mmm. Hey, that was what? my bite. No, I can't go, yeah. Give me my bite. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had the tomato part. That was good. Mm. Uh huh. Um. Mm. Let me try it again, make sure. Ooh, you're double dipping. You're gonna get hay milk. Oh, yeah, well. Uh, Blow it. That's good. What good is blowing on it, too? <laughs> you cool it down. <laughs> God, not. Mm. You double dip this food. That's right, baby. That's anyway, good. Anyway, I'll let it boil. Just come up to a boil. Be better without cumin. <laughs> you didn't even know it was there. Ah. I told you. That's all there is to it. Now, this one, we'll eat off of it tonight. We'll And I'll freeze the rest of it. And like Got a little said, bite. Yeah, just a little bit of a bite, but not enough to make any difference. Uh, that's it. That's the big... And see, if you really want to give it a different taste, you can put mini corn dogs in it. <laughs> okay, if this was not mine for me and and, and my husband, who is literally will put eat anything I put in front of him, right? Yeah, I didn't get like this by <laughs> not eating. I would put corn in it. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Corn. I would put. I don't have it, so I would put corn uh. in it. I'd probably, in my veggie mix, I would probably put some uh, carrots in it. Carrot. Yeah, so to may bring up the veggie mix. So if your family likes that, you know, you can put it, uh, put that stuff in it. But that's it. I mean, after mm. that's all, that's my base. And then after that, you can tweak it and make it the way you want it. But this one has a little bit of a kick. It's a little spicy. But they sell the Rotel with mild. Where is Why that? would you do Why that? Why would you buy that? Yes, but that's it. And that's it. Look, uh, you, you, we eat all of it. You freeze it. My kids put a little cheese in it. My daughter likes tortilla chips. Somebody likes crackers. But, and it keeps, you know, in the freezer forever and ever. All right, but it won't last forever and ever. To de lose. To de lose. <laughs> Bye. All right, we wasted the to de lose. To de lose. <laughs> okay. Gloria might say he wants to do this. The, the, she's Gloria, and she's one of the reasons I made the Sorry. the video. So uh, he wants you to make it because he like ate my entire freezer full of chili. Well, he things. did eat a lot of chili, <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> All right, bye. Now it's the Tootie Lou thing. <laughs>